There is a lot of work to be done after a resin 3D printer has finished printing, and most of it is sticky and messy, so put on some gloves. Your print and print head is covered in excess resin, and you want to recover as much of that as possible as it is expensive. I bought this useful bracket which lets me prop the print head up to drip into the resin tank. I work over anti-spill silicon pads to make cleanup easier. You need to dissolve and rinse off excess uncured resin before you UV cure your part so the liquid resin doesn't smooth out details. I'm also cleaning the print head here. The magnetic stir system of a wash and cure makes it much neater and more effective than just swishing it by hand. I use a stainless steel funnel with a built-in screen so that I can pour the unused resin back into the container but still catch any floaters or cured resin that is separated from the print. Of course, the resin is sticky, so you need to wipe out excess with a paper towel, and then use more solvent to really clean the print reservoir. I run it through the washing station to really make sure it's clean. The part needs to be separated from the print head, and the print head will need to be cleaned more. You can see here why I'm using the silicone mat, as I have some alcohol and resin that drained out of the interior, the hollow, of my flail snail. And the funnel also needs to be washed, maybe a few times. Here I'm washing the part again, using the funnel to hold it down as the hollow inside has trapped air. When you think the excess uncured resin has been removed, it's time to change the wash and cure station over to the UV curing mode. I cure the model once before removing the supports to stiffen things up. Then, after I remove the supports, I cure it again a few different orientations. The final results are excellent, but resin printing involves a lot of post-processing cleanup and curing. Thank you.